All right, so this is what we're going to be learning about how we build today, sort of an image block right here. You can make it any size. I just have it as large as it'll be so you can see it. But as you hover over it, it rotates like that and the text shows up. So let's dive into that right now. All right, so let's jump into how do we do this. Uh, first, let's just take let's just understand what's happening. Let's conceptualize what we're doing. So here is an image. Every image has its own little axis, and what we want to do is flip it on that y axis. So that's what our code that I'm about to show you. That's what it's doing. We're grabbing our image and we're flipping it on the y axis, and then we're also doing that with the text that goes over the poster card. Um, so let's look at this code and then I'll show it to you live. So this is what we're doing. We, we're targeting our block ID and then we're setting up some initial positions. We can play around with those. I'll show you what that does. Um, then the main thing we're doing, so this is our default state. So we're setting up our default state. Our caption right here, which is the text that goes on top of the image, we're rotating it 180 degrees on that Y axis right there. So that's what we're spinning. So this is the default. So the default is our caption is now rotated initially 180 degrees on uh, the, on our Y axis. Then I've set a background color so you can change that. And then these other properties right here, the back face visibility hidden, this basically just says as it's, as it's positioned on the Z axis, um, is, you're not going to see it. It's a little complicated. If you don't care about that stuff, you don't need to dive into it. But the main properties, if you want to learn a little bit more about CSS, the main properties I'd say to study are perspective, our uh, preserve 3D, um, and then our back face visibility. Those are the three main ones we're playing around with. Uh, and then, of course, our transform rotate. And then as we hover over our image block, uh, we're just rotating the entire thing. So our our fig caption element, so our caption and our image, which is our intrinsic right there. So both of these are within our image, uh, our design layout poster right here. And so we're rotating the entire thing. So this code just sets it up and then this is just our hover effect. So let's just plug that in and play with it. So I'm gonna copy that. Here's my website, here's my page with the, the title there, and I'm just gonna paste it in. Now all I need to do is target this image block and replace our block ID right there. So I'm gonna use our block ID finder, copy that, paste it in right there, and now as I hover over, you see that it changes. So that's pretty cool. So our perspective, this is how far away our element is from the user, the, the eyes. Um, so if it's a little counterintuitive, if you make this lower, say like, you know, 100, it's going to be some really wide perspective. So imagine this is perspective where I'm really close and this is perspective where I'm really far away and me switching my hand here. It's not going to look as wide as if I'm right here. So that's what that perspective value does. And that's why the higher the value is a little bit, uh, it's less intuitive, um, but you kind of want a higher value for more of a subtle effect. Um, and then our back face visibility, like I said, that hides it. And, and then right here, you see the, the darker background. You know, if I wanted that lighter, I could change the lightness of our HSLA there. And you'll see that's there. So you can change the background color using that. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. So here's the code. Let me know if you have any questions uh, or if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see sort of broken down or elements broken down and understand how it works. Uh, I hope this one helps. Um, oh, one last thing. Border radius, you notice this is a square radius. This is a rounded radius. Um, I just put this in depending on if you have a border radius set on your image, which would be in the settings of the image itself. Uh, you might want to add the border radius to our caption right there. And so that'll keep it consistent there. Uh, but otherwise, you don't need this. You can leave that commented out or just delete it entirely. So there we go. Uh, if you have any other questions, if you want to learn more, I have a bunch of other stuff on my website. Uh, this code's on my website that you can grab as well. So I hope this helps and take it easy. Have a good day.